In last week's video, I was at Beachmere capturing a beautiful sunrise. While packing up my gear, I noticed a huge amount of bird life were out feeding just as the sun came up. So a couple of days later, I headed back to the same location with the Nikon D850 with my 80 to 400 mm lens, this time for some bird photography. I've already made up a video on the way I like to set up the D850 for bird photography. I'll leave that link here for you to check out a little bit later if you wish. So out this way I can see, here we go, I think this is an Osprey and he's flying up. He's checking out the tide. Yeah, that's him. He's a little bit too far away. He's diving in. Granted, the 80 to 400 mm lens I'm using isn't the fastest or most optimal bird lens, but I'm doing my best to capture this amazing Osprey feeding on the incoming tide. So let's go and have a chase with this little Osprey out here. I think I did get some shots of him going in the water then. I was a little bit far away, but obviously he's seeing his food out here. So let's go out and we'll, um, we'll see if we can get him closer. Okay, this is better. I'm closer now. So what I've done is I've activated group area autofocus. He's got something. He's really struggling in the water with it. Yeah, look at the size of that fish he's got. That is massive. Yeah, he's got breakfast and he's on his way home. Now, because it was still relatively dark and the sun hadn't come up yet, I had to push the ISO up on the D850 to 2000. Not really my ideal ISO and apologies for the noise in some of these shots. But I think it was worth it to capture this impressive feeding sequence. You can really see the struggle going on in the water here as the Osprey continually gets dragged back under due to the weight of the fish. When the Osprey finally emerges, it has a massive sea mullet in just one of its sharp talons. The fish was really struggling to get away, but no dice, not today. That Osprey had a firm grip as it flew back to its nest. Wow, that was amazing to witness. He picked his target, pricked his wings back straight down into the water. He was struggling for a while in the water there, couldn't get back up. What a great start for some bird photography. Seagulls are having a massive fight. He's got a bit of food and they're chasing after one another. Luckily today what I've done is I've put on my reef shoes because this whole area here is low lying, just mud. So um, didn't mess around, put the reef shoes on so I can give chase after the birds. These little guys move so, so quickly. I'm just chasing these little guys up here in the tree. Just um, hitting on single point autofocus here. They're so small and they move so quickly. Here's a little guy. He's got his food in his mouth. He's found a little grub. Just gorgeous. Oh, they're feeding. See, nah, I missed that. He was actually feeding another bird and I missed it. Not fast enough. And I love the way the morning light is just hitting on the sides of their faces. But boy, you have to be quick. You've got to be quick on the trigger with these guys. Yeah, this, I didn't realize this whole tree is stacked full of them. This guy's having his breakfast just here in this tree. Just waiting for him to stick his head out into the sun. It's so important to have your eye to the viewfinder the whole time when you're doing bird photography. You take your eye away from the viewfinder for just a second and you're gonna miss the shot. Sometimes you have to because when you're on a long lens, you can't see outside the viewfinder, but yeah, preferably keep your eye into the viewfinder at all times when you're doing bird photography. I've just got this little cormoran 
down here. What this cormorant is doing, he's pretty smart. There's an inlet here and what he's doing, he's just waiting for his food to come floating out. He's waiting on the side of this inlet. Let me just get a shot of that for you. Yeah, he's just waiting for his food to come floating down on this inlet. He'll jump in and get it. I guess what you've got to do with bird photography is sometimes you've got, to, you've got to put yourself in a situation and think like, well, what a bird would do for its breakfast if you really want to photograph them. And look for these little inlets where birds will be sitting down the end and waiting for those small fish to come floating out so they, they're just easy prey for them. Here's these little fantails again. Now I heard over here before I could hear some kookaburras. Normally they hang around for a little bit. I'll try and get some shots of those for you. Here he is. Here's this kookaburra. He's just landed over here. There's another one. There's actually two. Here he is. There he goes. He's flying. I'm just moving very slowly. Here's a nice one. He's sitting right in the light for me. Just single point autofocus. I think I would rate the kookaburra my favourite bird. I absolutely adore these guys. I love the sound they make. They're Australia's national bird and I just love them. Look at the beautiful design on his wing. Just shining in the light there. I'm just going to move around. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to single point autofocus, I'm just going to get a nice bit of out of focus foreground with this shot. So what I was saying before with bird photography, you've just got to think like a bird. It's early morning, the tide's coming in, and this white egret out here is just sitting in one of those pools. The water is flowing out and he's just having a feast. This little egret was really making me earn my shot. I'd creep a little closer and he kept moving further away. Come back, Egret, so I can damn well love you. After grabbing a few cool flying shots, this little Egret finally found what he was looking for, a prime position to pounce on his prey. He's just making his way up this little inlet and he's grabbing things that are floating out. There you go. He's chasing after something, he's seen something. He's going for it, look at him go. There you go, he's got a nice little fish in his bill. What I didn't realise, this guy is so smart. I'm just looking at him through the viewfinder now. And what he's doing is he's digging up the ground underneath him. So it's acting like a burly to bring the fish in towards him. And he's staying dead still. Very, very smart little fella. I've seen some really beautiful little birds in my time, but this guy absolutely takes the cake. And he lives in this little hole down in the ground. This adorable little guy is a partilote and can be found right throughout much of Australia. They really love to feed in foliage and at the top of trees as this little guy is. Earlier this morning, I was shooting that osprey that was diving into the water. What most people don't know is where the osprey's nest is, and that is, it's actually at the Peachmere local rugby league club. And what they've done is they've made their nest on top of a light post. So what had happened is the ospreys had originally built a nest right next to the lamps, and the council deemed that as a fire hazard. Here he is here. So while I was filming that bit where I'm talking to you about where the nest was, an osprey come flying in out of nowhere, and he's now just sitting up on to the perch here. But if you look up there, you can see what's happened is the council has built a purpose ledge off away from the lamp posts so the ospreys could build their nest. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. 
I've just got to be very, very quiet now because Osprey is just sitting on this ledge right here. We've got more birds over here. We've got a black cormorant sitting out here. And what they're doing is they're just feeding as that tide comes in. If you look out here, look at this. A ton of black cormorants. We've got small ospreys up there, They're obviously feeding. You can just see he's feeding this one here. I really think it's fantastic the local council have built this ledge away from the lamp so it's not a fire hazard and the birds can make their nest there and bring their young up. I mean, it's a perfect spot for them because if you look around here, this is their feeding ground right here. And as I look across here right now, I've got this massive big white egret with this reflection. I mean, it looks like a little water hen is next to him. Just getting some B-roll here. And this is the, because I don't have my tripod, this is the, the quickest way I could get a steady shot because I'm at 400 mil. Ospreys are just so beautiful. Really fantastic. Hunters, they've got those incredible talons, sharp beaks, and yeah, when they dive into the water, they just shape like an arrowhead and just dive straight into the water. Thanks so much for watching. Never stop creating, and I'll see you next time.